What's up, YouTube? Not to you here today. We come back into pizza. Well, cooking simulator. Pizza stuff. Wait, what the? Was it always oh, okay? Anyways, I'm just gonna empty all that. So, what do we have here? It is a giant mess, and I'm not too keen on fixing it all up. However, last time we only left off on what? Two of the Try Guys pizzas? So this time, no, maybe I should really empty some of this because I know some, of, most of them don't use any of these. Uh, it's gonna take some time though, so I'm gonna be right back until I'm done with this. Okay, so I was like, wait a second, did I run out of dough? I need two. And everything needs to be the same. Anyways, um, alright, so let's see. We've already made Ned's 24 hour cheese pizza clock and Eugene's best worst pizza. So, what do we need now is why is there so much garbage around here? Man, oh boy. So, next one is we got Keith's deep dish pizza. So here's the thing, we're gonna need a lot for his sauce, cause, okay, maybe his sauce didn't look like a lot on the show, but here's the thing, he added he, his own, his own burger sauce into it, in which I needed to look into the recipe, cause, uh, I'm not gonna make it correctly though, but there was like, there's a lot of stuff in his burger sauce, so, let's see here, first, Okay, where's the sauce? Okay, so, for one thing, Keith, he can't really handle spicy stuff all that much, but there are some spicy stuff in the sauce. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add maybe one pepper, because that's as most we can probably do, and let's see what we got here. So, if it, if it asks for pepper anyway. So, distilled vinegar, that can be up there. We need smoked. So when there was smoke liquid, we need Serranos. Do we have Serranos? Oh no, we don't have Serranos, do we? We have Jalapenos, so we'll take a Jalapeno. Oh, do we have any... No Serranos. Oh, that's a shame. We're missing out on one already. Wait a second. There was pineapple? Uh oh. There was pineapple. Okay, guys, we might have to make Eugene's pe re remake... Oh wait, shoot, I also threw it all out. But then again, I also missed out on a lot of spinach. We're gonna be remaking Eugene's Pizza at, at the end. We're gonna make sure that it's fully done correctly this time. So, oh, shut up, you. There's onions. White onions should be enough. Um, onion juice. And it's more for the sauce, anyway. Maple syrup. That'll be in sauces that we buy upstairs. Mustard seed. Figs, right in rice flour. I don't. Okay, here's the thing. There's two things that require figs. This and um. What was it? Oh. Right. Right. Zach has figs in his in his bourgeois or whatever it's called, pizza, and that's one of the main ingredients, which is not good for me. Cause. Okay. There's a. I know, I know figs are really sweet, but they don't have a sourness to them, so I guess I'll add a banana. <laughs> I'm not too sure, because that's the sweetest thing I can find around here, maybe. So, okay, what else do we need? We need salt, sun-dried tomatoes, alright, horseradish, do we have horseradish around here? I don't think we do. But what we can do is... Definitely, if there's horseradish spices, maybe. But I don't think we have horseradish in here. Casper Berry. What's back there? More dried tomatoes. Beans. Yeah, nothing along with horseradish. Garlic and garlic scrapes. Just add garlic. So, 
I'm just gonna add maybe 20 grams of garlic. Maybe some more garlic. I don't know, there's also garlic scraps. Black pepper, butter. There. <laughs> um, and it's also, okay, no, so the cheese, is gonna, he's gonna have this mozzarella, provolone, and romano. Do we have any romano on us? So mozzarella is already cut up up there. Provolone I know is also cut up up there already. Uh, what else do we need? What was it? Romano. Is there anything with Romano? I think I actually tossed that out if I did have it. Is that it? Okay. Peccino Romano. Alright, that's what we needed. There we go. Alright, so the sauce is... We got everything with sauce. We have the cheese is ready. We just need to get all the spices and all the other stuff upstairs. So let's get this all ready up here. Um, if I could, you know, get the cheese, please. Don't fall. Uh, grater. Grater would probably be best. Alright. Oh my goodness, why am I going so fast? What the heck? Okay, for some reason I was holding shift, apparently. Alright. The cheese is ready. We have Romano, mozzarella, provolone. Excellent. Alright, all the cheeses are ready. We just need to dunk in all these sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, oh well, I guess I'm not getting all the sun-dried tomatoes. But then again, uh, I don't think I need that much. Sun-dried tomatoes are like a condensed tomato. They have a lot of flavor in them. So that should be enough for that tomato. The ingredients didn't call for water. So there's, okay, so there's sun-dried tomatoes, jalapeno, white onions, banana, garlic, and butter. So, oh right, right, right. Right, we didn't get, we didn't add the, um, all the spices that are needed and the uh, liquids. So what did, what does this call for? We have vinegar. One. Wait, wait. Come on. Alright. Liquid smoke. We need that. Oh, I already have most of this. Oh, well, whatever. Vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Rice vinegar. It's asking for distilled vinegar. So anything as close to vinegar... We'll go with white vinegar. That's probably the closest thing to distilled I can think we have around here. So, figs, we can't do that. Do we have syrup? Uh, syrup. Syrup. We don't have a syrup. I guess I'll replace it with some honey. Alright. So we got... What else here? Mustard seed. Okay, do we need that? Mustard seed, salt. Mustard seed. Where is that? Mustard, please be here. Okay, we might add some red pepper flakes just because we missed out on some serrano. Paprika. I guess we're going with ground mustard. Okay, alright. Oh, horseradish, horseradish. Do we have any horseradish around here? That's a spicy addition. But we seem to be missing out on horseradish. Yeah. And we don't have anything like... Okay, so we got some mustard. All right, one, two, three. That should be enough for mustard. Salt. Okay, come on. One, two, three, four, five. That should do it. Honey. That should do it. For honey, I don't think it needs to be that sweet. Vinegar. That's a tad pinch of vinegar. For that acidity. And add some red pepper flakes, because we're missing out on a few things. That'll do. 12 grams of that. Liquid smoke. We don't want too much, because this stuff is con is some condensed flavor of liquid smoke. Anyways. Alright guys, we have the vinegar, smoke, liquid. S Serranos, we're missing that out. Jalapenos, 
onions, onion juice, we can't add that. Maple syrup, we're substituting that with honey. Mustard seed, we're substituting that with mustard powder. Fix, we're missing that out for... We're, we're skipping that out for a... Uh, banana, which is the closest thing I probably find there. Salt, sun-dried tomatoes, horseradish, we don't have. Garlic, we got that, butter. And now we got to make, okay, so, okay, cool. We have everything we need here for the sauce. We have Keith sauce being made right now. All right, so next, we need the cheeses ready. All cheeses ready? All right. Oh, this is quick. All right, we have, this does not look like Keith sauce. <laughs> Keith sauce is a lot more browner. Uh, Probably because of all the white onion and banana I had, I guess, in there. Oh well. That's the closest thing we can probably have for now. So we have my attempt of Keith sauce. Wow, it's spreading a lot easier. Wow, that was a lot faster than before. Anyways, now that. Oh, this is supposed to be deep dish. So, for what? Oh no, I messed up. I messed up. Okay. Oh wait, actually I can't technically mess up because you can't really put the sauce on top of a normal pizza like this anyway. Because you put the sauce on the last. But I suppose you're supposed to hide everything under it, so... Dang it. Okay, so we need to put out the cheese first. So what we have is... He, the thing about his is he lacks cheese. So... What we're gonna do is one sprinkle, a little sprinkles of each. We have the provolone, mozzarella. Where's the mozzarella? Where is the mozzarella? Okay, there's the mozzarella. We don't want too much cheese because remember in the um, remember what the judges said. It lacked cheese, so we're gonna lack some cheese. And now romano. Okay, that should be enough lacking of cheese. So, the meat he added is Italian sausage, Italian beef, and Gran Nera. I don't know what the heck that is. Sweet bell peppers. I don't think I have anything sweet, but we have bell peppers. So we're just gonna add bell peppers casually, because oh well. Can I rotate these? Oh, I can! Oh, shoot! I can actually rotate these. This could have been pretty. Oh, well. Shame. Alright, so. Now we need to get the beef cut up. Alright. Alrighty, so what we need is... Italian sausage, Italian beef. We don't have prosciutto. It oh, excellent! Italian sausage. Italian beef and granier. Do we even have that? Prosciutto, American sausage, porchetta, prosciutto more, bacon, eh, it's not really Italian beef, pancetta, cured, okay, that's not good. We're missing out on two different ch meats actually already. We need Italian beef and, ah, what is granier? What is this? Chorizo. Bruh, oh no. We're already missing out on meat. Okay, so what's an Italian sounding thing? Chorizo? Is that beef? I don't think that's beef actually. Pork sausage? What's made out of beef? Pepperoni, I don't think that's made out of beef. Oh no. Pancetta? No, that's pork, I think. Bacon is definitely pork. Prosciutto. Is prosciutto made out of beef? One second, guys. I need to search this up. Okay, guys. No, it would seem that prosciutto is an Italian dry cured ham. And I don't think... Uh, prosciutto. Specifically... Dang it. Okay, so what else do we have? Salami, let's check out salami. Air-dried meat, typically pork. 
Next! Mortadella. A large Italian sausage ground heat cured pork. Chorizo! Alright, come on guys. What we got here? A type of pork sausage. Next! Bresaola. Air dried salted beef. Okay, I'll use this. I don't know. I don't care. It's beef. I don't know what gra- Okay, let's see what this is. Cause maybe if we can find out what it is. Granden era. What is Grandena? Did I? What? I'm getting no results. Wait, did I just spell it wrong? Grand. Wow, what's going on here? Okay, for some reason I can't actually search up what Grandera is. I'm probably saying it wrong, but uh, okay. But I'll just go with a different Italian meat, I suppose. That. You know what? Let's just get some prosciutto. Every, actually, actually we're gonna need prosciutto anyway later, so we're just gonna add mort into this. All right, so what we got here? We're gonna have to cut up a lot of meat. What? Italian sausage. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, prosciutto will be in um, what's his dish? Zach's. Yes, he has. Zach's has a uh, prosciutto. Thing ish is the issue. Oh, I still have anchovies. <laughs> Anyways, the thing is, he has figs. I am missing out on a lot when it comes to figs because I don't have no figs. Not here, at least. But oh shoot. I should have put it right next to the banana, because I guess I'll substitute the figs for banana. Okay. Alright, so. Let's see here. All the ingredients are here, I believe. We have cornmeal, but I don't think we have cornmeal anyway. So, we could add corn, but nah. Oh, he has roasted bell peppers in his sauce? Eh, I don't think... We could roast bell peppers anyway, which is unfortunate. So the sauce is ready. Actually, it looks kind of brown here. Was there oxidation? I don't know, but we have the three cheeses and a really small amount: provolone, mozzarella, and romano. Oh. We have the uh, Italian sausage. Oh, great! We had to. Okay, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll have to slowly put this around. Okay. Okay, we have Italian sausage. I think they- we, Wow, that is a big piece of whatever that is. So, here's the thing. I think it was very meat forward. If I remember correctly, I don't remember too much. Like, I think his meat and his sauce one of the best aspects about his. So there's that. And lastly, whatever this is. Alright, that should do it. Um, we have three meats. We have the three different kind of cheeses. Uh, we have some bell peppers on it, and we have this special sauce. I would love to add more sauce, but I can't really do that. Alright, so, let's see. How will the random judge, judge, man, cheese always has this issue. Alright, let's see. How will his pizza do? Alright, next, we have Zach's. So his has a basic marinara sauce. So we'll just get the marinara on. Okay. His has 
Lock one side, one side, remember his is the past, present, and the future pizzas. The, I don't think I can make, like, add more dough to a pizza though, so... That's, uh, a little bit of a shame, but, uh, oh well. So one side... One side will have a lot of mozzarella. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure both... Okay, here we go. The pizza is ready. Ooh, that looks good. Alright. I should have taken out a plate first, but oh well. Even though we lack cheese, I guess the texture will automatically put on a lot of cheese. Okay. Alright. Oh, this is some good judging music. Oh! I... Well, Keith might be really lucky. He just got a meat for pizza as his... Okay, let's see how he... How, how well he's go... Oh. Okay, so guys, we have two bronze stars, one silver star, and one gold star because of time, because that's uh, obviously. So right now, Ned is still in the lead with two gold stars and two silver stars. Can can Zach be able to beat him? So, what we need is prosciutto. Now, I don't actually... Oh shoot, he also used Serrano's. Wow, that is a shame for me. Because we don't have Serrano's. We have jalapenos, but we don't have Serrano's. Balsamic. He added balsamic after... Oh boy. I guess we do have an extra piece of dough. Okay, so let's make... So what we're gonna do is, because we can't add vinegar after, maybe we shall make a sauce with balsamic vinegar in it? Uh, like, vinegar is part of the bourgeois or whatever it's called, of the modern, modern day kind of thing. So, hmm, let's see, do we have balsamic? Like, that's actually kind of weird. You'd, you'd think we'd have balsamic in this game. We have red wine, and we have rice vinegar, and white vinegar. So, I guess I'll just continue using white vinegar, because I can't see any other balsamic vinegars around here. So we're just going to add that much. So what else do we need? In order to make a basic... What the... Get, get me to the basic screen. <laughs> okay, so a basic marinara sauce. 200 olive oil. Where is our olive oil? Where is that actually? No, this place is a mess. Goodness. Alright. I think it said 200. Wow, that was perfect! Salt, 35 grams. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright. Oregano, 25. All right. Basil of 30, garlic of 20. Now we gotta go downstairs to pick up the garlic. We've added the vinegar already. All right, we have the garlic we need. Okay, figs, prosciutto, Peppers, serranos, balsamic vinegar. We added some vinegar, but we can't really add like uh, that kind of vinegar. Uh, we can add basil's later. And one side is the basic mozzarella and pepperoni. Okay, so yeah, that seems about fine. We have added the extra vinegar for the sauce. That would do it. We don't need too much vinegar after all. Wow, 
Wait a second here. Oh. You know, I forgot. This won't do. I forgot about the tomatoes. Oh, jeez. Jeez, me. You know, with a 200, I think, actually, we could add maybe a little bit more. So, olive oil. Alright. Where did I put all that? Actually, because we, yeah, because we ha are missing out on Serrano's, let's add some uh, red pepper flakes. And maybe add a jalapeno. You know what? Mistakes are something that happened, so you can redo something that you feel like it pro you probably should add. So that's a good thing, I suppose. Basil. Garlic. Now we just need our garlic again. Alright. And San Marine... Whatever. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alright, that should do it. For garlic and... Uh... Oh wait, 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 wait. We want a spicy pepper. We'll add one of these and the uh, jalapeno. Did the jalapeno get in there? Doesn't look like it. Alright, that should do it. Okay, excellent. In you all go. And the peppers. Alright. So. Vinegar. Olive oil 128? No, wait a second, that's supposed to be more than that. I thought I poured in a little bit more, but oh well. That'll do. That's better. Alright. Pepper flakes, salt, basil, garlic, and the pep. What's going on here? Oh my goodness. Alright, so. Alright, we got our homemade sauce. This time, actually made just the way we like it. Red. That's not red. <laughs> the heck? With all those tomatoes, you'd think it'd be red, but no. I guess not. Where did I just put it? Ah, yes, this is the spicy. Alright, with the white vinegar. Alrighty. Looks like... Ugh. But oh well. Who knows? Maybe it would actually taste good. Now, one. Mozzarella. One side will be a basic mozzarella cheese. With... I think I forgot the pepperoni. Oh my goodness. Where's the pepperoni? Pepperoni. In you go. Alright. In. Done. Alrighty. Alright, now we got the basic pepperoni pizza. A lot of pepperoni. On that pizza. Oh boy. Now, the special bourgeois issue is we don't have figs. So, we'll substitute with uh, bananas. Eh, it can't be the worst thing in the world, can it? And here's the best part prosciutto. Like, who doesn't, who doesn't like some prosciutto? Hopefully, this all fits right. Yeah, it works. Half bourgeois, half basic pepperoni pizza. Unfortunately, we can't really go into the future and make an atomic bomb. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't, I don't think I can do that. So the other side, what cheese should I add? But the basic mozzarella, because I don't think he actually mentioned what the other side has of cheese. There's prosciutto, figs, pepperoni, serranos. 
basil balsamic vinegar and basil. Okay, I don't know, so I'm just gonna add mozzarella. And now, I don't. Why do I keep on doing this? All right, everyone gets a basil. Alrighty, so let's see, how will Zach's Pizza fare in the random, whatchamacallit, judging. In you go. Uh-oh. Go back in there. Alright. Wait until that's done. And let's... Let's get ready and prepare for the new. Not new. Alrighty. We'll remake Eugene's pizza, this time with pineapples. Alright, so this one is done. Alright, out you go. Oh, no, 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 don't go back in. Alright. Perfect. Now, he did a technique where you were, where you like cooked the pepperonis themselves to be crispy, but the thing is, I think that that's not exactly how you do it. <laughs> Anyways, we'll put it on that. Well, okay, that's weird. I. Uh, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> we, you know, that plate would have broke if I didn't turn off, turn off, turn on the perfect. So let's see what we got. This has a lot. I don't know what that is. Let's see. How do we score? Oh my goodness! He actually got two. Okay. Two silvers, one gold because of the time, but does that beat? Does that? I think that beats Keith's. I think that beats Keith's score. And now we shall remake Eugene's pizza. So, thing is, we can't add the what? No. So, what we're gonna do is put it into the sauce. So, spinach. Add some spinach into the sauce. Eugene's pizza was like and So, we're gonna add the spinach into the sauce. Uh, yes, white sauce. I don't know if sauce, but I'll just white sauce. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
That didn't really get in there. Oh, well, I don't think I need to Anything go? Yeah. It's not fixing. Yes, yes, give me my green special go. Go, 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 go. Green go. Go, let me go. And a green. Not a green now. Shit. Oh, shoot. We have our green sauces all these days. Wait a second. Why am I not scrolling properly? So we got anchovies, mushroom, we gotta get, we gotta get it. Pineapple. No substitution this time. We got the pineapple this time. Oh no. Alright, that always gets me better. Actually, what happened to that? Because I might not have anything on, so. The funny thing is, multiply. Ah, uh, when Josh walked me over, it's something cool. Right. Because that makes absolute sense. We have all the vegetables, mushrooms, we have all the same pineapple. Bell peppers, parmesan. You guys can have parmesan. You guys can have parmesan. You guys can have parmesan. That's the last time we eat one. We cheese best worth pizza. Alright, go. Alright, 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 right, next time. You can do it. Alright, I'm done. 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 i we have... This is just... 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 Alright. Oh, yes. The pineapples. They are here. Oh, no, they're even the portal here! Can't get rid of the pineapple now. Five rules. Okay, dude. Hold on. Okay, that's not what I guess I'm like. Oh, this is just... Weird. No, it's a shame because, like, the pineapple tea did was drips, not full giant circles. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's good. Anchovy, mushrooms, white sauce, spinach dough, pineapple, black olives, bell pepper, cheese, spinach, pineapple, egg, add on last, and cheese on parmesan. Alright, that's good. Cheese, and we said I had to take on fast. Alright, here we go, guys. Cheese, that great pizza. Better than before. Okay, guys, guys. Eugene's best worst pizza. Looking a little less green than it should, but oh well. Now that that is done, we got a server on a plate, which I keep on forgetting. Whoops. I wonder if it's got to still be on. Nope. Wow, that is weird. That was a weird flip. Alrighty, guys. Eugene's Best Worst Pizza. Version 2. In you go. Wait a second here. Two silvers, one gold, and one bronze? Okay, so I think the order of challengers, the winner for this show is Ned's 24 hour pe cheese pizza clock. Second is actually Eugene's best worst pizza. Third, was Zach's I don't know bourgeois something pizza half present day and half past or something like that and lastly on last place the best pizza was that is Keith's deep dish is in last wow mine I actually got things around almost the entire up entirely the opposite the winners won, didn't win, I mean, and the losers got the biggest score. Surprising on this really random of, you know, it is a random game of whoever gets what, what um, order, but like, wow. Alright, so there's the score for the Try Guys random recipe orders. Anyways, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, and see ya.